Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannett Reviews, where today we're checking out a 2020 Tiara Sport 34LX. This one has since been sold and it was on display at the St. Petersburg Boat Show earlier this year, but I thought everybody would still appreciate a sneak peek on board. I love how easy it is to get on board with this extended bathing platform that wraps around those outboards. And there's some clever seating on board where you can move the backrest so that it's forward facing, rear facing, or you can lay it flat like a big sun pad. And I really like the fact that not only does this one have a hard top, it's also got a retractable sunshade for the aft cockpit. But she does come with canopy enclosures and also you can shut that front window and door and that way you can have it all enclosed and keep the AC running and be nice and cool on board. And then on the port hand side, we've got a little wet bar out here. you got the fridge underneath, but you've also got a TV mounted up for extra entertainment. And then on the starboard side, you've got more seating. And this time you've got a cockpit table in the middle. And this actually folds and is retractable. So it's compact when you don't need it. But there's plenty of space there whenever you do. And then moving forward, on the starboard side is where you'll find the helm position. This one has been very well equipped and also upgraded. It's got Garmin Electronics with twin 12 inch multifunction display and that's coupled up to the open array radar, got sonar, chart plotter and as well as having your main engine controls this one is also joystick operated. And I like how you can have the wheel tilted so as you can stand at the wheel and it's also got the bolster effect seating but then obviously you can drop the seat down and you can also tilt the steering wheel back and you can enjoy it as a cruise. The engines on board are twin Yamaha 350 horse outboards and you get the full engine instrumentation. And this one's got many upgrades including underwater lighting. I was also impressed to find this one's got trim tabs as well. You don't normally see that in a boat that's powered by outboards. But in the right conditions this one will get close to 50 miles per hour. So having that trim and tilt on the engines as well as the trim tabs helps you get that stability and comfort while you're out at sea. And as I mentioned this one has been sold but if you were to order this exact spec brand new this one would have cost you $609,878 but at the boat show this one was being offered for $469,900. So you were getting a saving of almost $150,000 over new. And you also didn't have to worry about the wait time because most new builds are taking one to two years these days. And then I like the fact that the port hand side there's more seating. That way if it's like a husband and wife team, that way that you've got your partner close by. But they've got as much comfort and space as you do. But throughout the entire boat I was impressed with the fit and finish of all the materials. It's definitely designed and built to a very high standard. And this was the first tiara that I've featured on the channel. But it I hope to get more of them on the channel as time comes. Well, I was very impressed with everything on board. The boat's also got a lot of hidden features, which I wasn't expecting. Just in front of that port side seating, that actually opens up, and inside here you'll find a heads compartment. I always think that's a great feature for allowing you to stay out in the water for longer, especially if you've got young family on board. should point out this one's got 30 gallons of water capacity. It had 20 gallons of holding tank capacity and it's got 200 gallon fuel capacity. So there's no need to rush straight back in. You can spend many hours out and join the water. As well as having the obvious toilet here, that faucet that you see on the sink, that's actually a shower head too. Um, so you could also rinse off before perhaps going to grab a meal or something like that. And as we close this up, you see there's a bunch of drinks holders. There's also handholds in place. And then as we go to walk down the main passageway leading towards the bow, there's a storage section in the middle. You can use that for longer items such as perhaps um, skis or fishing rods. And I love the soft decking that was on here. I never had my shoes on because it was a boat show model. And it was very comfortable when you're walking, but it was also very cool despite the Florida heat. I also like this one, it's got wind door, that way you can close that and you can also slide over the extra window and that way the boat's all enclosed. And this one had a length overall of 34 feet 9 inches and she's got a beam of 11 feet but it feels like it's a lot beamier than that once you get up to the bow and you see the forward cockpit area. There is plenty of seating up here for your family and friends to lay out, relax and enjoy 
and there's also a ton of storage underneath all these seats as well. I like how you've got handholds in place from a safety feature. You've also got drinks holders, there's speakers up here so that no matter where you are in the boat you can enjoy that stereo system. On the bow this one was equipped with an anchor windlass that was operated from either the bow or from the helm position itself. And I like the use of the fold up armrest as well, and that way you can use it whenever you want it but you can store it out of place and it's not intrusive in any way. And for when you are cruising I love those massive windows, you get so much light and visibility. This is a great boat for cruising in. And then as my wake away through back through the boat, you can see the bolster effect seats. You also get to see that air conditioning vent. It's underneath the port side seating. You can see the AC controls on the port side as well. I love that synthetic decking that's throughout. It's got a really nice quality feature to it. But it's also got great form and function to it as well. And then moving aft again, you get another close up. Uh, that saloon area. You can see the use of the forward facing seat which we can flip back to be rear facing if you wanted to. And again you can see that retractable sun on it that covers the aft cockpit. And then as I go to board off you can see just how much space we have that surrounds these two massive outboards as well as having the boarding handles for coming in if you've been swimming in the water. I was very impressed with this one. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. You can leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really does make a difference. And as always, I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.